Okay, so um, everyone, welcome to our 15th video session. Today we're going to be discussing um, how to solve the MIT Solve Challenge and how can citizens and communities create and improve social inclusion and shared prosperity. Um, also, because it's um, Food Wasted Reduction Month, um, we are aiming to submit an idea that aims to reduce food wastage as well as solve this challenge. I actually was looking up some tech, existing tech solutions, and it was interesting because one that caught my eye is it is doing exactly um, what you're trying to say, Puya, in getting to the root of the issue, which is the way we think about food when we're starting to cook and when we don't have the full ingredients. And there's an app I saw called My Food Ways. Uh, which helps people reduce their food waste. They um, click or they include the, the food that they actually do have, and the app generates a recipe, a new recipe that they probably wouldn't have come up on their own. So I think people find that useful. Um, so what we were thinking was an app wherein uh, if I am uh, the person who is uh, donating the food, I can just open the app, uh, scan the barcode of the item that I'm um, deciding to donate. Let's assume it's a packet of cereal and it is a very fancy cereal that I thought would be really cool to try, but I was kidding myself. I would never try that because I, I just, I don't have the time or for whatever reason. So while scavenging through the pantry, I see that I see, okay, fine. It's still not expired. I snap, take a snapshot of the barcode. The app scans the barcode, takes in all the information, like what the product is, uh, its ingredients, um, and its expiration date. And then if from a particular area, uh, if there are, for example, 10 or 20 items, 20 people who are donating one item each, so there are like 20 items at least, then we as a company or as a uh, a, a purveyor of donated food, we can set up a pickup. If not, then that person can uh, themselves drop the food items off at a location that we can provide them with. And once we get all that donated food, we can give that to uh, food banks or even co-ops that are literally looking for uh, good food, which they in turn turn into recipes that they give to people who need them, right? But to incentivize people to donate more and not just throw it away or to be mindful about what they have, we can give them virtual coupons or virtual money. So depending on how far away from the expiration date the item is, like how fresh the item is, we can give them a number uh, of coupons or a number of virtual money, which they can then redeem to buy more organic stuff. So we can partner with these organic food companies who do not have many buyers in the first place because it's, it's, it's a, it can be a little expensive. People don't know much about it and they can um, post their items on our app or website or whatever platform we provide them with. And the people who donate, who get the virtual money or the virtual coupons can redeem a certain amount of a certain uh, bill that they buy the stuff for. So in turn, we are boosting more organic produce. Uh, we are incentivizing people to donate fresher food, like be really mindful and proactive about it instead of being just reactive. And we give it to people who actually need it. So it's we are we are closing in on the circle. Yeah, give it to them. How would you uh, uh, take away the uh, liability for that? Um, for example, like any anybody gets sick and things like that. Um, for people to get sued, so so the food bank would do it for us, right? As we yeah. as we would give them the margin enough to do this verification from us. You mean that the, they would look at the expiration date on the uh, on the. So packaging. so we would look at the expiration dates on our own, but like so the expiration date filter would already be done from the platform itself. But let's say if the oats itself have really gone bad, even though they are not from the expiration date, expiration date or not. We are expecting the kitchen owners or the cooks inside these co-ops to look at the ingredients before really using it. Number one, instead of putting our food in the trash, um, instead of putting our food in the trash, we create an app where people can scan their barcodes um, of that 
uh, of that particular food. And then people can either um, have someone pick up that food or they can drop it off at that at their local co-op. Um, and then we give the food to the co-op and then this can directly help uh, this can directly help people um, in more impoverished communities, right? On the other hand, like uh, one way that we incentivize people is providing uh, virtual coupons or virtual money um, to incentivize people to bring them in. And the coupons can be applied to your local organic store.